today what I'm doing is uh, I've got Linux Mint 21 in front of me. We're going to install Verb Manager on Linux. And so this is how you do it. All right. So we get our uh, handy dandy uh, terminal up. Now the first thing we always got to do before we do things like this is do an update to make our system up to date so we don't have any issues. sudo apt update and and sudo apt upgrade. I shouldn't have too much to uh, upgrade on this computer right now. Let's see what I got. All right. No, oh, nothing. Okay. I have nothing to upgrade. All right. So what we're going to do next. So let's type in sudo apt install uemu dash kvm libvirt. There's another thing we're going to install. So when you install multiple items, multiple pieces of software, all you got to do is just leave a space and then type it out. Libvirt daemon system space. We're going to also going to install vert inst. Then we're going to install the vert dash clients. And the last thing here, bridge utilities, bridge utils. Enter. Just install that stuff. Let's hit a Y, enter. And off we go to the races. This might take a minute, but it's going to be too bad. I have a good internet connection and I got a pretty decent computer here. I have tried several different virtual machines. You know, there's VMware. VMware supposedly runs right on the kernel. It's, uh, VMware actually works really well. They do have a free version too. A lot of people think that you got to pay for VMware. Well, you can, you can buy a license for the commercial version, but if, uh, you want to use the, uh, I'm not sure what they call it, private version, I think. Then you can use that without a key, and it'll still let you use it. The only problem with uh, VMware is that you have to make sure that you always have the current Linux kernel headers installed. So if you update your kernel, if you don't download and install those headers as well, then next time you go to open up uh, VMware, it's not going to work. You'll get the message saying, hey, where are your headers at? And then it'll ask you to look for them, and then you can't can find them because they're not even there. So just make sure you install your headers if you're using VMware. Uh, VirtualBox it works pretty good, but it uh, runs. It doesn't run straight on the kernel like Vert Manager does using KVM, which is the kernel virtual. All right, never mind. I forgot what that stands for. KVM. Anyway, all right, next step. So now that we have uh, that stuff installed, we can go and do this. So we're going to do sudo because we're going to want to start the... Uh, the services so system ctl enable libvirt d okay it's not going to tell you nothing but it started the service then you do sudo system ctl start libvirt d I think I might have said that wrong. We enable the service, then we start the service. And then we go back and we spell it right. Like that. So now the service is actually started. Okay. Then sudo. I want to apologize because I keep kind of going back and forth between saying sudo and sudo. I used to say sudo a long time, but then I realized what it actually meant super user do and now i try to say sudo but it doesn't always work because i said sudo for so many years anyway a little history for you system ctl and this time we're gonna we're gonna check the status because we're gonna make sure that it's enabled and running so status and then invert b it'll give us the status so it says that it's loaded, so it's, it tells us where it's loaded. It's active and running. Okay, and it's triggered by, and it shows all the information. Even shows where you can find the uh, man docs. Okay, so now 
we have to add the virtualization service to the root group. So what we're going to do is type sudo user mod dash a capital G the vert our dollar sign capital letters U S E R user. And my password. Okay, then we're going to do sudo user mod a capital G. This time we've got to do it for KVM. Otherwise, if we don't do it, we won't be able to use the services when we open a virtual uh, vert manager. Open up a terminal again because there's one more thing that we need to install. Sudo at install something called vert manager which is a graphical user interface for virtual machines password yes we're going to do that do, 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 do. We could have done this in the beginning with the uh, with the whole group of software that we installed in one shot, but that's fine as long as it works, right? Let's get out of this terminal. Now it should be in your menu. I'm talking about Vert Manager. There it is, Virtual Machine Manager. Uh, for some reason, guys, if it's not in your menu, just restart your computer and you'll be fine. All right, so once you open it up, you'll see this. If you click on, uh, you're going to click on uh, this icon right here with a little uh, yellow light, I guess it is. And then you'll get this screen. It says, choose how you would like to install the operating system. So I'm going to use a local ISO on my drive, so I'll leave it on the first selection. Click forward. I'm going to browse for that ISO now. You click down here where it says browse local. Choose your ISO. I just have one download at the moment, and that's BROS, which is a Brazilian uh, operating system what's a brazilian it's kind of like a spin on ubuntu they base it on ubuntu and it's highly themed and so forth uh using uh kd i believe is what it is click open okay so down here you have to choose the operating system you're installing linux windows FreeBSD, whatever it is it's not detecting it because the name isn't it's fairly new distro, so I'm going to uncheck the box, and I'll type something here. It's an Ubuntu-based distro, so I can spell it right. And we'll choose, it's based off the latest one, so we'll click on 22.04. We'll go forward. So I'm going to leave this as it is. It's using two CPUs and four gigs of RAM right here. Forward, 25 gigs is the size I'll make my drive for the virtual machine. Forward. Now here you can change the name because it says Ubuntu 22. We're going to change that to BR dash OS. Click finish. Now it's creating the virtual machine. It's actually uh, making the virtual disk right now. That's going to be done. And now you can go ahead and boot up into uh, the live system. And so uh, what I'll do next is I'll, I'm going to do a review on that BROS. I want to see how it runs. I haven't used it yet. As you can see, I'm just installing it now. And uh, once I get to, to the desktop, I'll click around and see what it's like, and then I'll go ahead and install it. And uh, that'll be my next video. We'll do a review on it. So. So for now, I think that's going to be it. I want to thank you guys for watching again. I appreciate it. 
hopefully I help somebody uh, learn something today or you know, reach your goal of installing uh, Vert Manager and QEMU and KVM and setting it all up on Linux Mint. You might see um, some different steps on other distributions, especially like Arch, Fedora, you know, different distributions. But it's it's not hard. It's just a number of steps, so it just takes some time. So that'll be it for now. So we'll see you all later. Stay tuned for the next video.